What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. I'm here today with another projector review. This is a full HD projector. There are a couple things unique about this, but first let's open up the box and I'll give you my final conclusion. This currently on Amazon, it is listed for 220 bucks with the coupons. If you are an Amazon Prime member, if you're not, I will put a link for a free Amazon Prime trial. So this has some built-in apps for your streaming services. It offers Dolby Audio. It is hard for a projector to impress me with their audio quality, but I won't give up, but we'll see how this one does. As you can see, full HD. It weighs about 1.5 kilogram. That's a little over three pounds. It has two five watt speakers and it can project up to 400 inches. The throw ratio is a little bit higher than one. So for example, a one-to-one -one ratio is when you are 10 feet away from the screen, it projects at 100 inches. A quick note, when you're on Amazon looking at projectors that it says supports 1080p or supports full HD or supports 4K, supporting is different than the native resolution of the projector. When they say it supports 1080p, that means the native resolution is probably less than that, but you can, in your input source, you can feed it resolution up to 1080p or full HD. I absolutely love me a nice carrying case. It is a soft case, so it's not really to protect it, I assume, it's really more for carrying it around. You have your remote, it is standard. However, it does give you a quick button to Netflix, YouTube, and Prime Video. Standard power cord and an HDMI cable. These two dials that you see here, one of them I suspect is your focus ring and the other one uh, may be your keystone adjustment. Quick access to the menu buttons right at the top if you don't have the remote handy or you lose it. Let's check out the ports in the back. You have two USB ports and two HDMI ports and this is your auxiliary port so if you want to hook it up to an external Bluetooth speaker this is the port for that. You have some vents on the side most likely for your speaker and or ventilation. You have another IR port, more vents on this side for either ventilation and or speaker. At the bottom, you have four rubberized feet and this is for height adjustment. Please pull this out and clean regularly. Is it a filter? This has 15,000 to one contrast ratio, which is very respectable. And what that means is your colors will be punchier and will be a little bit more vivid. And finally, this is an 800 lumen projector. That is the level of brightness you get. And final feature is you can stream directly from your phone to this device using uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. And we'll test that out. Oh, and it comes with this color owner's manual, very high quality, very easy to follow. And finally, you have a cleaning kit. All right, so first when you fire it up, uh, it gives you directions how to do remote control pairing. The other thing I wanted to point out, the focus is not automatic. You need to use the large dial to be able to get your tack sharp focus dialed in. And the smaller dial, this is your keystone adjustment. Accept, accept, perfect. So first we're gonna connect this to the Wi-Fi. So that was the first time I just heard the audio and I have to tell you that was very respectable. It did not sound like it was coming from a tin can. So there may be some hope for this. So as you can see, it has its own app store. <laughs> And by the way, right now, I have one of my studio lights uh, turned on, even though it's not directly pointing and shining at the screen, but I want to have an idea of a lightly lit room during the day, what is the picture quality. I could tell you the 15,000 to one contrast ratio that they advertise, it's definitely coming through. The colors are punchier, and that is very noticeable and respectable. So I have an iPhone and looks like screening is pretty straightforward. All I have to do, make sure my phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi 
as the projector and then I should be able to see it in the screen mirroring option. Now I have the projector as a screen mirroring option. It shows up just like an Apple TV and then I can tap and share. Sometimes you want to watch a content from a website. It's nice that it has a built-in uh, browser so you don't have to airplay from your, uh, your phone and tie up your phone essentially. Let's check out the settings. Uh, Bluetooth. So it is pretty cool. You can actually wirelessly connect an external speaker to this via Bluetooth. That's definitely a plus. As far as your inputs, you have two HDMI inputs and you also have two USBs if you wanna connect your uh, Amazon stick, for example. You can change the projection mode if it's gonna be hanging from the ceiling, front, back, and whatnot. There you go. And finally, there is an app store that looks like you can download more apps. Let's see what options we may have here. Wow, that's pretty cool. So you can download apps um, like games and whatnot. This is pretty exciting and very comprehensive and complete. Ah. So with this remote, basically right, left, right, left and you hit the center of the d-pad that is to rotate and you want a fast drop or soft drop you just use the down arrow and holding it so to be honest with you this app store is a huge surprise to me because i thought it only has some of the common streaming services but it's a lot more than that which I'm not mad and you get these for free. This is dope. All right, so I have a lot to say about this speaker. As a matter of fact, I had to write down my thoughts so I don't forget and miss anything. Let's start with the recommendation. Do I recommend this? Absolutely. And at this price point, this thing is very unique and special and it has a lot going on for itself. But if you wanna know why, here's the collection of my thoughts why I am absolutely recommending this. So starting with the video quality, which is the most important uh, feature of the projector. That's why you get it. So the contrast ratio being at 15,000 to one, which is very respectable for a projector this price, offers really rich and deep colors. It is full HD, native 1080p, and you could see the sharpness, the fonts there, and you can actually use this for work presentation, anything with fonts and charts in it, it's gonna look just fine. The brightness at 800 lumens, very respectable, you saw this in a lightly lit room and a dark room, it looked really nice. The carrying case, the size of the projector, all of that are also pluses. You saw how easy it was to stream from the phone. Most projectors about this size, they can project up to maybe about 120, 140 inches. This thing can project up to 400 inches. Connecting a third party external Bluetooth speaker, that was super easy. Normally, I don't get excited about remote controls, but this nice D-pad and the click button they have, uh, when you're trying to navigate and maybe play some games or you are using the browser feature, this thing comes handy. And the fact that you have quick uh, buttons to Netflix and YouTube, that is a plus as well. And finally, let's talk about that app store. All the other projectors I've reviewed that they do offer built-in apps such as Netflix and whatnot, they are limited to some of those streaming apps. But this had a very comprehensive list of apps that I actually lost even count. I was trying to see how many apps does this thing have. Are there things I don't like about this? Absolutely. This is not a perfect projector. Everything uh, has to be... Uh, put into perspective. So let's start with the audio. The audio, honestly, depending on what uh, music or sound you're listening to, 
uh, it is respectable and it is good quality. So for example, some of the initial uh, testing I was doing, uh, the audio did not sound that it was rattling or coming out of a tin can because basically it is coming out of a plastic can, right? The speakers inside of this thing. It's not like a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, but then some of the other uh, content I was testing, it did have that tone and that sound again. I would definitely say it was above average compared to some of the other uh, projectors I'd reviewed, but I'm still on the hunt for that projector that I would say the audio is perfect and you do not need an external uh, Bluetooth speaker. It does not offer autofocus and it does not offer auto keystone adjustments. Um, for the record, there are some projectors that they do offer those, but most of the ones I've tested that start offering digital autofocus and auto keystone adjustments, they're normally um, over three, four hundred dollars or a lot more before they start offering some of these features. And then the final I wish is this projector does not have a zero degree uh, projection. So let me tell you what that means. When you are projecting uh, from this device, your projection goes wide like this, right? What that means, you have to open up this leg and tilt it up. What that means, then you need to adjust the keystone to try to correct it. The, the reason that's not ideal uh, is when you're trying to focus, if you try to focus at the top, the bottom, depending on how much you have tilted this thing, then it may be slightly out of focus the zero degree um, projectors, they project up this way and the bottom of the projector is gonna be the bottom of the screen. Those projectors, you typically will be able to get nicer focus. Again, these are nitpicking stuff, but you just need to understand what are some of the capability and limitations. But considering all of that, I absolutely recommend this. Don't think I'm missing anything else, but if you could think of anything, definitely drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to try to answer every single uh, one of the questions. Don't forget, you gotta have Amazon Prime to get that price. Otherwise, I think it's like 800 bucks or something. Um, if you don't have Amazon Prime, again, I got a link. You can um, sign up for a free trial to be able to get the lower price. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.